Well, uh, this is part four and um, back with uh, Rob Woodall. Hi Rob again. And um, still on top of Mall Golf, where we've turned the perspective around a little bit. You've got the uh, Shropshire plane in the background. And um, as you look at this over on the right behind Rob, you've got Brython Hill crowned by the um, monument of Rodney's Pillar. And this segment, Rob, I thought it would be quite nice to talk about your fell or mountain or hill running. And uh, this is the bit, Rob, you'll have to help me out on because um, I wouldn't profess in all of my life to be any form, <laughs> any form of fell runner. <laughs> you could describe me as a fell plodder, I think. So um, what, you, what sort of started you off? Was it sort of you know, cross-country in school or, or, or was it...? Absolutely not that. It wasn't. No, no, I hated running. <laughs> I still don't. I mean, running as such that I'm not, not really into. Uh, kind of moving fast and light on the hills uh, appeals to me. Uh, but I mean, it's kind of easier than walking, really, because, you know, you're carrying less and uh, you just, you know, you're in shoes rather than boots. And it's kind of easier, but I uh, got into it by accident, really. Um, I, um, as I recall, I was working as staff at the time and I started kind of uh, doing kind of the odd uh, rock climb after work, uh, just kind of scrambling up things. And I thought, uh, this is perhaps not a great idea and I maybe ought to join the mountaineering club and learn how to do it properly before I... Uh, for some for something nasty happens, so I uh, joined up the mountaineering club uh, uh, by this time I was actually down in Wellingborough and um, got in with this guy, Dave Gordon as I recall, who uh, was into running, was into climbing uh, and uh, quite unlike me, he was actually quite an obsessive and um, uh, his particular obsessions were the cooling main ridge he wanted to do and the Bob Graham round which is the kind of uh, classic um, 24 uh, sub 24 uh, our uh, fell running challenge um, so I kind of we we had weekends away running and climbing and uh, wrecking bits of the the round the Bob Graham round is actually a route first done by believe it or not Bob Graham uh, I forget the actual date, but it was maybe 40s, a good while back. Um, there's a long history of kind of fell running challenges in the Lake District, trying to do you know the maximum number of peaks in 24 hours. And uh, um, Bob Graham did 42 Lakeland peaks within a 24 hour period uh, with a couple of guys pacing him, uh, I think. Um, and the stats, Depends how you measure it, but uh, it's something like 62 miles, 27,000 feet of ascent. Uh, so it's like going up Everest, albeit without the altitude, obviously. Um, and you need to do this within a 24-hour period, starts and finishes at the Moot Hall uh, in Keswick. And, uh, so was that the first one, Rob, out of the, the sort of major mountain yeah, running 24-hour yeah, challenges to complete? Yeah. And what about the second? You mentioned the Cooling Ridge. Yeah, that's... Well, yeah, that's... That's kind of different thing. It's a combination between running and a lot of it's kind of mountaineering, rock climbing, scrambling, really. Um, which, yes, I did eventually do. Um, not with Dave, actually. By that time, he cleared off to university to study classics or something, actually. Um, and, uh, yeah, after a lot of wrecking, I got along the main ridge. Um, another thing I did in the early days was the Welsh... Uh, uh, 3000 as route which is a kind of 16 mile thing again with lots of ascent and descent but uh, the UK big three uh, which we call the, the, uh, the Bob Graham in the Lake District the, uh, the Paddy Buckley in the uh, uh, in North Wales and um, the Charlie Ramsey round uh, in Loch Arbour, Scotland uh, so after the Bob Grey, what uh, what came next? Yeah, the Paddy Buckley was the next. And that's this the one in the, Wales? The North Wales, yeah. This was when I met, got involved with uh, Yanis Tridimus, who uh, is the, a bit of a long-distance fell-running legend, actually, uh, from, uh, uh, from Greece, as the name suggests, but actually based in Liverpool, and I've had a lot to do with him over the years. He's a great guy, really, uh, really uh, dedicated and... Uh, so what are the stats, Rob, for the Paddy Buckley? Sorry? What are the stats? How many peaks and the stats, mileage? It's 47 peaks. It was compiled by uh, Paddy Buckley, who uh, um, very much came up with it as a kind of Welsh version of the BG. Um, 
and the stats are pretty similar to the to the Bob Graham really kind of a bit over 60 miles about 62 um, a little bit more climb yeah it was pretty similar really kind of 26 27 thousand feet of ascent so would I be right in saying that the that the Paddy Buckley would probably be a little bit um, tougher than the uh, Bob Graham it's reckoned to be maybe an hour harder in terms yeah. of time yeah yeah it's a little bit harder now of course there's also a major 24-hour challenge in Scotland isn't there yeah the Ramsey round yeah Charlie Ramsey put that together um, consists or used to consist of 24 um, Munros one since been demoted with uh, one of the last times the tables changed but you still have to do the 24 peaks it's now 23 Munros and it starts with Ben Nevis, it does the Ben Nevis, the, uh, the Grey Corries, um, the Annus, the Grey Corries, uh, Three Hills, the east side of Loch Trigg, and then the, the whole of the Mamours range. So uh, no, it's I, a big old thing. I wouldn't profess to know the Scottish Hills very, uh, very much, or my stomping grounds in Wales, but the thought of either 23 or, as it, uh, as it originally was, 24 Munros in a day, to me, that sounds quite incredible. And again, what you're talking about here, you're talking about a multitude of peaks, either in England, Wales or Scotland, with a lot of mileage and, of course, an awful lot of ascent. Mm. Um, can you suddenly just describe, not necessarily concentrating on one of the rounds, but what it's like physically to either attempt or, you know, attempt and succeed on one of these things? Yeah, well, the first thing is that most people use... Uh you know, support. So you've got people at the roadside with with food, and you've got people on the hill carrying all your gear and your food, and offering um, encouragement. You know, uh, certainly people do solo these things, but uh, most people use support. Um, and that's and all, also taken in paces on uh, the, whilst out on the hill, or yeah, 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 kind of helping you out with the uh, you know how fast or how slow you should be going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. And it obviously is physically demanding. Uh, a lot of the big challenge is just to be able to keep on eating, really, because, you know, your stomach tends to just kind of close down and once you're not taking energy and then you tend to grind, to grind to a halt. So that's the toughest thing, really. Now, you've completed those three. Mm -hmm. Were they first-time completions or, you know, were there uh, wreckies or failures on the way? or? were first time completion actually I don't think uh, the BG we tried twice in a year um, the first time the weather was absolutely dreadful um, we got quite a bit behind schedule um, and the second time the weather was nice and we did it we were virtually unsupported there were three of us we just went and did it and there was uh, somebody helping out at the roadside you know um, the the Paddy Buckley I've had various flirtations with over the years I had a few goes at trying to get the kind of distance record in terms of the number of peaks which I never quite managed um, I've actually completed the thing twice in various forms um, the Ramsey I tried years ago uh, finally completed it in 2008 actually um, absolutely wonderful conditions um, kind of May June 2008 was absolutely superb I went on actually to do another round uh, a couple of weeks afterwards in the Cairngorms we use 18 the 18 Cairngorms Munro's oh, the, Charlie, the, uh, the Mark Rigby round yeah and of course there's also one um, close to where we are now in Wales a little bit further west is that the Marionith round? Marionith yeah this is this is the Yanis Tridimus thing he put it together himself with a lot of discussion with Paddy Buckley as it happens um, and he completed it 11 years ago now. Nobody else has completed it, actually. Have they? Deary me. So the only person, Yanis. Yeah. Now, have you had a go at trying to I, succeed? I had a, I've had a couple of goes, I have to say. <laughs> yeah. Once I wasn't, wasn't really fit enough, I had a go last year, but it's um, sort of thing you have to do early in the year before the bracken grows up, really. Yeah. And I believe, conversation coming up um, to Mollegolver this morning, that you're going to attempt it again in a couple of months, May of this year? That's the plan, yeah. Yeah. yeah got well, team organised, yeah. Well, I wish you well on that, Rob. So we've now covered sort of Rob's um, ultra or 24-hour challenge fell or mountain running. And I think for the next... Um, segment Rob we're sort of discussing the years coming up from 1990 to 2005 and again during all of those years you were and I've been specifically said I've been asked not to say trig spotting so I'm not going to say trig spotting Rob <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that <laughs> I'm going to say trig trig trigging trigging trig bagging trig I'm bagging not a trig spotter. I'm not a trig spotter. <laughs> okay then well cheers Rob and that's going to be the next segment thanks